Base camp is an outdoor adventurous dream. It's rugged enough to get you off the beaten path, but comfortable enough to keep you there as long as you'd like. With Dexter axles underneath and an aluminum superstructure on top, this unit is fully capable of handling the road less traveled. All base camps are between 16 and 20 feet long, so they're easy to tow, easy to stow, and they fit into any National Park campsite. This is the 2023 Airstream Base Camp 20. Hey guys, it's Mike coming to you from the VRV family of companies here at Airstream of DFW. I have a 2023 Airstream Base Camp 20. If I had to pick one word to describe this, adventurous. Let's have a look. This unit has the X option. It's the Base Camp X. What makes an X special? There's a few things. We've got a three inch lift, so you've got more clearance. You've got Wrangler off-road tires and aluminum wheels down here. Plus, you have two steel steps right here. You've got a stainless steel rock guard and solar protection on the front windows. Good stuff. I'm gonna ask my good friend and factory trained team member, Anthony Miller, to help us out with this tour. So what do you say, Anthony? Thanks, Mike. Yeah, this is the Base Camp 20X. It's a really cool, really exciting trailer. If you're into ground camping, adventure camping, hiking, canoe and kayak, this is the best trailer for you. If you're a traditional ground camper, you want to get off the ground, you want an AC, you want a bathroom, this is the trailer for you. But like Mike said, Base Camp 20X, let's kind of go over what that means. Uh, stainless steel rock guards, that's part of the uh, X package. Nice thing about these, kind of keep the front of the trailer nice and smooth. It, it takes the, the brunt of that road rash. You get the solar guards with the X package too, another really nice addition. Uh, all of Base Camp's two 20 pound LP tanks. You also have a little bit of storage here in the top for your power cord as well as the crank for your jacks. With the 20X, you do get stabilizer jacks in the front and the back. That's one of the differences between the larger Base Camp and the smaller. Keep coming around. Smart cord, they put a smart cord on all the Airstream trailers right now. Really easy to connect and disconnect. Much simpler than the older style RV cords. Uh, you got a little bit of storage right here, nice place to keep your uh, some plastic gloves, your sanitizer, that, that sort of thing, because this is where you're going to dump your tanks. And another difference between the 20 and the 16 is you do have two separate tanks. You've got a black and gray tank versus a all-in-one tank like you do on the 16. Another part of the X package, I know Mike mentioned this, you get a three-inch lift kit. You also got the heavier wheels and tires. So if you do want to take this trailer a little bit more off-road, you do have the capability to do that. Outside shower, real nice when you're out, out camping. If you want to kind of wash off on the outside, you can do that. Uh, one of the nice things they did for 2023 on the base camps, they have gone to composite-based flooring on all the trailers, um, as opposed to plywood. Something they did in 21 on the regular traditional trailers, but they just did it for 23 on the base camps. Probably the most unique feature of the base camp is its ability to store your, store your gear. So again, canoes, kayaks, surfboards, bicycles, all that fun stuff that you want to take out on your adventure with you, this gives you a really nice, easy way to get it inside the trailer and store it. You do have some tie downs in the trailer too, so kind of keep that stuff secure if you want to. And with the 20, you get a little extra storage back here in the back. They move the spare tire up to the front. So with the 20, you get a little bit more storage here in the back as opposed to the 16. Oh, let's continue around. A couple of 110 outlets out here. If you want to run something on the outside, you can. And uh, let's go inside, take a look around inside. So probably the most unique thing about the 20 versus the 16 is gonna be this additional area back here. So with the 16, you just got this back area. With the 20, you get this secondary area that can act as either a dining area, which is nice. So if you wanted to keep your bed down full time, you can. It also makes into a second sleeping space. So if you've got kids, you want to take a buddy with you, one of the uh, limitations of the small base camp was just it was really a two-person trailer. You could probably get three, maybe four in this if it's kids or if everybody likes each other. Microwave, it's one of the options we always get on the base camps. Base camps don't have a lot of options. It really comes down to four. The X package, which me and Mike have already talked about. Microwave, AC, which we always get, especially in Texas and then solar package. For 2023, Airstream has gone to 300 watts of solar on the base camp. So you've got that expanded solar capability. If you wanted to go uh, out longer term and you want a little bit more power while you're off the grid, you've got that. You do get a slightly bigger refrigerator. 
4.1, if I'm not mistaken, cubic feet. Uh, it is a 12 volt compressor based refrigerator, so it does cool off really quickly. You don't have to have it super level like you did with the old propane refrigerators, which is really nice. You got some nice storage down here, a couple of compartments there. And then you got a couple of USB uh, connections down there as well as your 12 volt disconnect. And this trailer also has tank heaters on it. So if you do want to go into some more cold climates, you've got the ability to, through the 12 volt system, keep those tanks warm while you're out there. So two burner cooktop, it's propane based. You've got essentially three propane based appliances on here. You've got your cooktop, your furnace, and your water. All three of those run strictly off propane. A uh, little pop-up spot, you got some more electricity, more electrical connections, as well as a couple of USB connections. And then more storage down here. All three of those compartments expand the storage a little bit. And then a little bit more here, a little bit more here. And then, of course, uh, just like um, you know, every kitchen, you've got your sink there. You've got a cover for the sink, which I just pulled off. Airstream uses real fixtures on all their appliances, which is really nice. With the base camps, you do get it's fully self-contained. You do get a full bathroom. It is a wet style bath, but it is a really good size bathroom. Uh, I am 6'2". I can easily step into that bathroom. I have plenty of room. If you do have a claustro little bit of claustrophobia, you do have a window in there, which is nice. It gives you a little bit more feeling of outside. Um, it is a ceramic toilet, no plastic toilets. And again, with the 20X, you've got both black and gray tanks. So again, gives you a little bit more uh, capability to stay, off, stay out longer without having to worry about your tanks filling up. And even more storage here. No one's ever said this RV has too much storage. So the more storage you can get, the better. And then one of the biggest things about the base camp is going to be this back area back here. I call it flex area. It can do a lot of different things. Um, it's got basically four settings. We've got it like it is here. There's a couple of boards right here that you can take out, lay them across here where you can make this into more seating. So if you want to have more of a U-shaped seating area, you can also make it into a bed three quarter or a bed all the way. And it is a king size bed when this whole area is made into a bed. So lots of sleeping space, two people very comfortable in here, even for a small trailer. You do have these two tables too. So if you do need more table space, if you do want to leave that front area down into a bed, you've got a couple of uh, tables here that you can use. And you do have full storage underneath this side of the bed. Maybe kind of hard for you guys to see, but just a little bit more storage there. And then uh, like I showed outside, a little bit of storage back in the back. You do have two windows that can open. A lot of people like to get fresh air into the trailer. You've got a screen door on that main door, but you've also got a couple of windows here that can kick open also here and here. And then you can also open that door from the back and roll the screen down there. So if you are somewhere where you can't run the AC, it does give you lots of, uh, lots of fresh air through the trailer and especially in more moderate temperatures, you can really keep the trailer more comfortable if you want to. And that's it, that's the Base Camp 20X. Thanks a bunch, Anthony. What a great unit. Hey, if you've got questions about this unit or others that we have, drop them in the comments section below. While you're down there, go ahead and click like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. My name's Mike. That was Anthony. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.